You remember that blue face restaurant we went to? Sadly, yes. Well, that type of food was soul food, and I've never had soul food before that, and a lot of people were saying that that was a bad first time at having soul food. It was, yeah. So I surfed the internet and I found a five star soul food restaurant. When Brennan sent this to me, my first reaction was, it just reminds me of like Popeyes. And you'll see that in a second. Okay, so the first picture, I, it's some fried chicken, some mac, some greens over there. Oh, those aren't greens, those are Brussels sprouts. Yeah. And it's some bread again. Green. Literally is like the same plate almost that yeah. they were serving over at Blue Faces, but look how much like look how much meat you get. Yeah, but we don't know the price of it. We don't. It looks like a homemade meal. It, it doesn't look bad at all. That mac and cheese looks bussin'. Yeah. And as you guys know, I'm lactose intolerant. Pick up some merch at brennantaylor.com. Don't miss your opportunity to get this yeah. fly as merch. That's fried catfish, fried chicken, mac and cheese, and a veggie combo plate. Looks, it looks good. The bread looks good. It looks the, like it's an actual roll. Yes, but if you think back, the bread also looked good in the pictures at Blue Faces restaurant, yeah. and then turned out to be something totally different. Yeah. And the cornbread at the barbecue spot looked good, and it you can never judge bread, I guess. Yeah. Let's jump in the reviews and let's see what the people are saying about this restaurant. If you call your restaurant sweet blessing, then you best believe you have to bring your A game to the table. And oh my, I am blown away. Ordered their fried chicken, seafood gumbo, catfish plate, cheese grits, and their peach cobbler. That's a big order. Yeah. <laughs> there is no, I ain't saying that word, in their armor. I think they're trying to say kink. There's no kink in their armor. They could have said scratch. I don't know. Damn. Everything is delicious and seasoned to perfection. They simply have the best fried chicken I've ever had, and their catfish tastes so delicious and doesn't have a fishy aftertaste to it. Makes me so happy that spots like this exist because it feels like I'm having a home-cooked meal. Exactly. Just like what you said. Yeah. I mean, so just off that review alone, like, that was a pretty solid review. Yeah. It makes me interested in going to this place because those pictures, they weren't that appealing to me. No, but sometimes the best things are not appealing to look at. That's true. Just look at my ex-wife, Martha. Yeah, she was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Love this place. Fried chicken cooked perfectly. Brussels sprouts that are so good, I've tried to duplicate them at home. Mac and cheese, yum. yum. And I'm very picky about my mac and cheese. Me too. My only disappointment is that they don't let us pick white or dark meat. We prefer dark. I mean, look, everybody is raving about this fried chicken, and I'm not a fried chicken guy, but I will give this video my all and go in on some fried chicken. Yeah. I give this place five stars. I have been to Sweet Blessings about four times. You need to try this place. My favorite memory of this place, I remember I ordered their fried chicken along with the mac and cheese. And how do I describe this? After having this meal, I was in a dream state. It was incredibly tasty, and I guess maybe this is why it's at its very essence called soul food. Yeah, I suppose that's what I felt that night. This food was so fresh, comforting, and tasty. So much that I felt it in my soul. Wow. While reading this review, I was literally salivating. Like, it was hard to get the words out. If fried chicken could put you into a dream state, then I am ready to go. Let's head on over there and let's try some of this food. Come on. Let's go. Really quick friendly reminder that I have a brand new song called I Don't Wanna Die Alone. It's out now and it's playing in the background. You can stream it with the first link in the description. And for everyone who has been streaming it all weekend long, I appreciate you, I love you, keep being you. God bless, enjoy the rest of this video. Here it is, some five star soul food. Let's get in there and let's try it, come on. <laughs> Hi, How are you doing? Good. So, this is our like real like first time giving soul food a chance. Okay. And we saw your guys' Yelp, we saw you popping on there, and uh, we decided <laughs> to <laughs> pop by. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I did see a lot about this fried chicken. Everyone raves uh -huh. about it. So, I'm definitely going to need some of that. Okay. I definitely want to try some mac, mac and cheese, even uh -huh. though I am lactose intolerant. We have a vegan mac. We don't want that. We don't we're going to risk no, it for the biscuit. Me. Yeah, no, we risk it. No, trust me. Yeah? We got a vegan mac. All right, let's do one of each. Your mind. Okay, let's get one of each. Okay. So we're doing a two or four piece on that chicken. Um, two. Let's go. I don't know. Don't you want to try it, too? Yeah, I'm trying to be healthy, you know? Yeah, but at the same time, it, it, the guy is healthy. What is you well, talking about? I just heard the fried, you know? No, the guy, <laughs> the guy in the review said that the fried chicken put him in a dream state. So I was like, I want to be in that dream state. All right. <laughs> so so let's go four. Oh, let's do four. Yeah. Our fried Brussels are insane as well. Yeah, I, I did see that, too. So let's get that, too. It's Waffle Wednesday. Yes, it is. Waffle Wednesday. What is Waffle Wednesday? So... 
my menu changes every day here. Okay. So today is waffles. Tomorrow will be whatever I feel like cooking. <laughs> um, I like that. Fridays and Saturdays are seafood based. Then Sundays goes back to whatever I feel like cooking. <laughs> Got it. Okay. So I think we need some waffles too. So we have red velvet, cinnamon, and fruit loop waffles. What is this porch punch? Porch punch is our take on Kool-Aid. So it's whatever my husband feels like throwing into the to the pot and whatever comes out, comes out. That's like a mystery drink. You got it. All right, let's <laughs> get one of them. Do you want one too, Jay? Yeah. Two porch and then, punches. Um, I mean, do we want to try it? They have other like fried snapper, fried catfish, like. Oh, but it's not even seafood day. But we always have fish. We oh, yeah? always, that's a Southern thing. You got to have chicken and fish no matter we what. We can do a catfish and waffle. How's that? Is that a weird combo? Is that no, good? No, that's a, a really good combo. I know it sounds crazy, yeah. but the catfish well, let's, and waffles. Should we do it on okay, our waffles? Okay, so let's get rid of one of the waffles that we ordered separately. And uh -huh. like, we'll just do a catfish and waffle plate. Okay. So what are your first thoughts on the interior of this place? It doesn't look like a restaurant. Not at all. I'm not even sure there's a kitchen in this place. I hope so. But I do like how they have crystals all over. It's, it's very, you know, it feels like there's good vibrations in here. Definitely, they have cool art. Yeah. The place is cool, Look, it was very welcoming walking it's in. Very welcoming, let's just hope their food is as good as, uh, you know, the vibes here. Yeah. Yeah, I made that. Oh my God, oh, what wow. is this? It tastes like a Jolly Rancher. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the porch punch right here, and we got the maker in front of us. Do we get to know what's in it, or is it just? Secret recipe? Yeah. Okay. It's damn yeah, it's good. good. It honestly kind of reminds me of like uh, like when you're getting a snow cone and they're putting like the- Oh, and like the, the, the juice on the, the juice bottom. <laughs> <laughs> when you're drinking it at the end and that thing just hits different. Yeah. This is good. This right here is Ron. Ron is the chef, the punch maker. What else do you do? Uh, Owner? The owner, me and my wife, we co-own, yeah. Co-own co together, you guys, and you said yeah, you were she's here. The, she's the chef, I just helped her. Yeah, we, yeah, we opened right before the pandemic, and then the different closures, the open, yeah. the shut back down, reopened, and now they're talking about shutting us back I, down again. I heard about and that. Like, and this is Jake's Bathroom Review. All right. It is so clean in here. Love that. Look at it. I mean, the only complaint is this is a little small, but like, what do you expect? They got everything. They got, what is this? I think that's soap. Oh, it says push. Napkins. They got the blue water, so you know it's fancy. Sprinkles are for cupcakes, not toilets. Do y'all understand that? I don't know, leave it in the comments if you understand that. But I'm getting hungry, I'm gonna use this toilet and I hope it comes out blue when I flush the toilet. So, back to the food. Oh my God, the food has arrived. Thank you. The darker one is the vegan uh, mac and cheese. Okay. Then the lighter one is the re regular mac. All the food is here. What are your first thoughts, Jake? It looks amazing. It looks way better than the pictures on the Yelp. I'm gonna be honest, the people who left those pictures didn't do this justice because this looks a hundred times better. You know, like when we first looked at the pictures, we kind of thought like, oh, it just looks like any other KFC meal, to be honest, yeah. you know, like the chicken. But this looks so much better, and you guys are seeing this in these close-up shots. It, it looks amazing. We also got the vegan mac and cheese and the regular mac and cheese to really tell you guys I mean, you know, they hyped it up here. Let's let's find out right now. Let's start with the mac and cheese. Okay. Oh wow. Oh wow, it's creamy. You take my food. Come on, man. <laughs> Whoa. Maybe, maybe this is what we gotta start doing since we're lactose. I just ain't never tasted vegan mac and cheese that's this good. It just tastes like extra creamy, even. Okay, we gotta check the regular one first. That's insane. That's good. That's a regular mac and cheese. Spices. All right, here we go, regular mac. Both really good. I honestly prefer the vegan I, one. I, I think I like the vegan one more. Let me get one more taste. This one is so cheesy, though. You can literally, hopefully see this. Oh, I just lost it. And you yeah, can really see. this one's see, stringy. Yeah, it's stringy. You can really see that this one is like the real, I'm not the real deal, but. The regular mac and cheese. I think the vegan cheese has more of that like uh, creaminess. creaminess, and the other one's more like cheesy, stringy. stringy. Oh. All right, so we're going for the calm, the calm sauce first. Yeah, the calm before the storm, if you will. So it's called pepper jelly. So I'm guessing it's just some really spicy jelly. Oh wow, look at the color of it. Mmm. 
Whoa. He did say that it heats up, the sauce. It's like a slow come on. Keep that in mind, because it doesn't seem that bad right now. I like that it's a jelly. Really yeah, good. Yeah, it's very different, because it, it, it combines sweet with, with hot or spicy. But how good is this fried chicken? It's so crispy. But so tender on the inside. I, I need that hotter sauce, I'm not gonna lie. I can't get over this this combination of, of the sweet with the spicy. Like, I've never had anything like that in my life. This sauce right here in my hands is called You Gon' Learn. And I mean, there's gotta be good reason why it's called You Gon' Learn. They did say there's some ghost peppers in this, so. Oh, you can kind of smell the heat. Oh yeah, I'm dunking, full dunk. Oh wow, that's so much thicker, dude. It's way thicker. Whoa, hold on, before you take, take a bite. Look how much thicker that is. I don't know if you saw the first part. The last Here we minutes. go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe we shouldn't have done that one, huh? I need another bite to tell. It definitely gave you that first initial like spice, you know? Where it was like, ooh, that's gonna be hot for sure. But then it kind of settles. Like it, my tongue is just a little like burning, but that's about it. I like the flavor po like the flavor of this one, of the spicier one more. Right. <laughs> this chicken's really good. The chicken's amazing. And look at this giant, like they're very courteous with the amount of chicken that they give you. We had a full plate of chicken here. We got like, we got a thigh, we got a, a breast, a leg, and a wing, a full yeah. platter. These are, they're known for the Brussels here. Everyone raves about the Brussels from here. So here we go. Mmm, oh man. That's made with love right there. Mm. Cause I don't even, I never really like these things. So right now, you gotta get them from the bottom where all the juice is. Oh, man down. So now we're moving on to our Waffle Wednesday. Here's catfish and waffles to be more uh, specific. I don't really know if you're supposed to have like a bite of them both at the same time. Or yeah. if it's supposed to be kind of a separate. No, why, why would it be on the same plate? I don't know, I just, I just can't think about putting syrup on fish. But we're about to try it. So lift the fish, pour the syrup, place the fish back down, get some of the pepper jelly, put it on top of the fish, Man, you're jumping right into it, huh? Wait, slow down, man. I'm nervous. I put the spicy one on, too. You did? So I can for sure say this is my first time combining a waffle with fish in my life. So let's go. Mmm. Definitely goes. My question is, how do you figure out that this goes? Like, who was the first person to start eating catfish with a waffle? Me. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fluffiness of the waffle and the crunchiness of the of the battered fish, fried fish. It really just gives it like different textures mm -hmm. in your mouth. I feel like you can't really like taste them individually, mm -hmm. but it just like flows really nice together. Mm -hmm. Whoa, what are you thinking? What I'm thinking is, is like how much different flavors come out of this kitchen. Like it doesn't look like it's that big of a kitchen to be pushing out this much flavor. Like, Compare this to Blue Faces restaurant. Oh my God, okay. Now that I've actually had some real soul food, comparing it to Blue Faces restaurant was night and day. Like his, I can see why everyone in the comments was like, that was a disgrace to soul food because you were right. Soul food is meant to make your soul feel good. I feel, I feel like. good. My soul feels good right now. This is definitely some, uh, I'm gonna call it a Southern sleeper because we're <laughs> gonna be taking some naps after this one for sure. There's no way, and we still got a lot to go. So mm. I say we finish this up, mm -hmm. and we'll give you our final thoughts after and let you know how we're feeling. Mm. Sound good? I think he's in heaven already. Mm. And you're an award-winning chef? Yes, sir. Wow. Yeah. It was given to me by the veterans I was made, veterans, Patriot Chef of the Year and Veteran Chef of the Year. Oh. Well, thank you for your service and for thank the great you. food. We try. <laughs> wow, all that for under 50 bucks? Okay, so final thoughts. I'm feeling good. I'm definitely gonna feel like I'm gonna need a nap after all this because this hit the soul. Like this is legit soul food now. I really understand everything. I understand that where we went last time wasn't necessarily authentic soul food, but this was. I definitely, I definitely will be back to a place like this. And that wraps up this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, pick up the merch brand Taylor.com, go stream the brand new song called I Don't Wanna Die Alone. It's available everywhere right now. I love you guys so much, and until next time, I'll see you later. Peace. Inside, broken, outside.